Good morning everyone. In this video we will continue our discussion with the different yogas and we'll start with the Nich Bhang Raj Yoga. Now what is Nich Bhang Raj Yoga? It means that the Nichta or the debilitated planet starts giving good results. That means the bad effects of the Nich planet or the debilitated planets are cancelled and the effects of the Nich Bhang Raj Yoga are felt. For example, let us take Venus. Venus is debilitated in the sign of Virgo. Venus loses its power in, in the sign of Virgo but yet it can give good results if the following conditions are met. We will be doing condition number 1, 2 and 3. The highest priority will be for condition 1, the next 2 and the next 3. Then let us try to understand that. Now, the first rule is that the niche planet is in Kendra from Lagna or Moon. Lagna is nothing but the first house. With respect to the first house or with respect to the Moon, if the niche planet or in our case that is Venus is in Kendra, Kendra is nothing but house number 1, 4, 7, 10 from Lagna or from Moon will give this yoga. Let us try to understand this. Now for example, Venus is present in the sign of Virgo okay in which it loses its power in the 10th 7th 4th or 1 house then its weakness would get cancelled this is because it is in a kendra house again we let us try to understand another condition planet that gets exalted in the same sign is in kendra trikon from lagna or moon so for example venus was in the sign of virgo okay where it gets stabilitated, let's say it is present in some other house, but the ruler of the sign Virgo is Mercury. So if Mercury is placed in the Trikona or Kendra, again this Raj Yoga or this Yoga is formed. Now, so for example, if Mercury is present in the house number 7, so it is in a Kendra, whereas Venus is debilitated in the sign of Virgo, again this is an example where the debility of Venus would get cancelled. Again another rule is Lord of Exaltation sign of the debilitated is posted in Kendra from Lagna or Moon. What does that mean? That means that for example Venus was present in our case in the sign of Mercury uh, in the sign of Virgo. Now where does Venus get exalted? Venus gets exalted in Pisces and what is the ruler of Pisces? that is Jupiter. So if again Jupiter is placed in uh, you know in a good is exalted or is present in a good or present in a Kendra then again this will give Nietzsche Bhangraj Yoga. So hopefully you got the point that is the Nietzsche planet is present in the house number 1, 4, 7 or 10 with respect to Lagna or from or you can also count it from Moon. So for example Moon is present here again count 1, 2, 3, 4 or count till 7 or 10 again if you know the planet are pre you know you have to also go with respect to the moon so these are the few things again the niche planet is exalted in Navancha for example in our case Venus lost its power in the sign of Virgo but let's say in the Navancha chart which I explained earlier in that chart Venus is exalted again Venus will not lose its power and it will start giving good results now that's how there are a lot of uh, you know a, a lot of rules uh, which can be followed and you know different rules will give different results. Now let us try to get ahead with few more yogas. Okay. Now something called the Amla Yoga. Now what is Amla Yoga? If Mercury, Jupiter, or Venus is in the tenth from Lagna or Moon. Okay. So this is our chart. So if Venus, Jupiter or uh, Mercury is present in 1st, 4th, 7th or 10th or especially in the 10th house okay then it gives to Amla Yoga again the person is good and will do well in life now there are three other yogas known as the Harsh Yoga, Saral Yoga and Vimla Yoga now what happens in Harsh Yoga now in Harsh Yoga if the 6th Lord is in a trick or trick Lord is present in the 6th house that is we always know that the 6th house is not good so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Okay, so if 6th, 8th, okay, and 12th houses are not considered good, so what happens is if, if the 12th house lord comes into 6th or the 6th house lord goes into 12th or 8th, that means either a trick lord is present here or the 6th house lord is present in the trick houses, then that gives rise to Harsh Yoga. And in Harsh Yoga, the person is fearless, learned, attains fame and it's considered good. Then what is Saral Yoga? Saral Yoga is for the 8th house. 
again if the eighth house lord is present in the trick houses that is sixth eighth or twelfth or if some other trick house lord is present in the eighth for example twelfth house lord is present in eighth or the sixth house lord is present in eighth this will give rise to what is known as the saral yoga which will make the person again fearless learned and will let him and will give him fame as well now vimla yoga on same rules applies to the twelfth lord Getting ahead, there is another important yoga known as the Buddha Aditya Yoga. Now, Buddha Aditya Yoga means simply a conjunction of Mercury with Sun. Whenever Mercury conjoined or is in conjunction with Sun, the person becomes brilliant, intelligent, and famous. It's always considered a good combination. It will give the person good amount of intelligence. Now, another known as the Guru Mangal Yoga. Now, Guru Mangal Yoga is nothing but the conjunction of Mars and Jupiter, which is also considered good. There is another yoga known as the Srinath Yoga. Now, the Srinath Yoga, Lord of the Ninth, okay, Lord of the Ninth, or Venus or Mercury are present in their own houses or are exalted. Okay, so if the Lord of Ninth is exalted or Venus or Mercury are exalted in their signs, this gives rise to Sri Nath Yoga, which is again considered very fortunate. So that's how uh, there's another yoga known as the so, so Samudra Yoga, in which all the planets are present in even signs. Now, what are even signs? Sign number two, four, six, eight, and twelve. Eight, ten, and twelve. So sign number two is always Taurus. So like that, if all the planets are present in the even signs, then that forms the Samudra Yoga, which is also considered very fortunate. So these are the various other popular yogas are where there are combination of a lot of many more yogas. But for now, you should be knowing at least these yogas so that you know whenever you see someone else's yoga or your astrological chart, you are able to understand which yogas you have. So hopefully you understood few more points in this video, and we have uh, mostly uh, you know covered the yoga series or the auspicious and the bad yoga series, and then we'll be going ahead with many more videos so that astrology becomes a far more clearer subject to understand, and we are able to decipher our own destiny in a better way. So hopefully you got few more points. I'm Shwetank into astrology. Do check my channel for more. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.